Hi, I'm Rebecca, and this is my vlog about knitting and myself, which are my favorite things. So, um, yeah, I like to get on YouTube, and I like to talk about all my favorite things. So, I am 39 years old. For one more day. Tomorrow's my birthday. I am so, so, so excited. And I know you guys are tired of hearing about my birthday, but I'm not tired of talking about it because I love my birthday more than anything else in the whole world. So, I will be 40 tomorrow. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I love getting older. I love everything about it. It just makes me so happy and I cannot wait to be, I can't wait to be older. I can't wait. I mean, I can wait, right? Like nobody wants to rush through things, I guess, but I'm very excited. I've been excited about reaching this point in my life for a really long time. Um, a lot of, you know, younger women are like, oh no, I can never be 40. That's so old. And it is, right? Okay, fine. That's when you're 20, 40 is pretty old, but I'm really excited about moving forward into that next chapter of my life, that next age range. Um, it's great. Today is officially the last day I think that I can say that I'm in my mid-30s. I was holding on to that for a while, but now I'm in my late 30s. I've, I've got to come to terms with that and that's fine. But 40 tomorrow, very excited. Very, very, very excited. Um, I have known a surprising amount of people who have died in their 30s and from women who've died in their 30s from various like cancers and, and aneurysm and things like that. And I think that the term anti-aging is probably one of the worst things we've ever come up with. I think that's awful. Um, I'm not anti-aging, I'm very pro-aging um, because the opposite of anti-aging is dead and I'm not about that life at all. Like that's not what I wanna do. I'm very excited about being 40 and it's a celebration. It's a celebration. I like to celebrate um, myself every year because knitting and me, favorite things, right? So, yay, I'm gonna be 40. Can I wait? <sighs> and I love knitting too. Um, oh, actually, I wanted to talk to you guys. My friend Tiffany from the Woolen Homestead, did I get that right? I think that's her name. I always think of her as like knitting in the mitten because that's what she started out as, but I think they're now the Woolen, Woolen Homestead. Anyway. She messaged me and she was like, hey, you should try these hearing aid braces. Um, they're from a company called Deaf Metal. Isn't that fun? And there's this jewelry that clips onto your hearing aid and then it clips onto your ear and then it holds your, your hearing aid in place so it doesn't move. I'm really excited about it actually because I think it's so cute. Mine is like a little star. I think my ear is rather long. So it doesn't quite fit exactly right. But oh my God, it's like this little ear cuff jewelry thing. Very excited about that. Let's see. So I'm gonna be 40 tomorrow. Oh, I am hoping that I got a lot of yarn for my birthday for my boyfriend. I think I might have got some. I always ask, that's what I ask for every year. Um, I've been talking about my birthday and I wanna be very clear by the way. I am not, that's not a gift grab. That is not an expectation from anybody for anything. I love my birthday. If nobody ever celebrated my birthday, I would go buy myself a donut and go to the yarn store and that would be my perfect birthday even without anybody else i don't require anybody to um i don't rely on anybody to have a good day my birthday is 100 percent just me having a good day no matter what so yeah don't, don't take that as like expectations or anything else i just get excited because i just love being alive mostly for the most part right okay knitting is there anything else? Oh, McRibs, man. It's my birthday eve. McRibs are back. I went to go get a McRib today, but it was right after my school's counselor or school conferences were finished with my elementary schoolers. And I went to McDonald's and, but it was only 930. So we had to go, but I'm going to go get some today. I'm probably going to get two. I'm going to get two on my birthday. I'm going to get two every freaking time because this is the last time they're coming back. And I love myself and I love knitting and I love McRibs and I know that that's a really controversial thing to say but it's true I love them I love them and if you don't love them it's probably because you had them with pickle and pickle is disgusting so when you put something disgusting on your amazing hamburger or your amazing McRib or sandwich or whatever it ruins it okay so you have to go out and get it without a pickle oh they're so good it's like my favorite thing in the whole world and I know that that's probably everybody's gonna unsubscribe now but Oh my god, I love McRibs. I'm so excited. I don't even like McDonald's. That's the funny thing is I don't really like McDonald's. I don't really enjoy fast food. I eat it a lot for somebody who doesn't enjoy it, but it's not really my favorite. It's kind of gross, right? McRibs. Definitely. 100%. 10 out of 10. I am there every time. All right. They're pretty much the only thing I like as much as yarn. 
You can tell, right? Because I got super excited. Um, Stephen West Mystery Knit Along Clue 4 came out yesterday. So this is probably the point where you want to quit watching if you've been dying to hear my opinions about McRibs and nothing else. I mean, that's, that's it. That's over. Um, so Stephen West Mystery Knit Along Clue 4 came out yesterday. I'm going to be showing mine. It's not really that great to look at, but I'm going to show it anyway. I'm very excited about it. Am I going to keep going on this? I don't know, man. I might take a break. I'm kind of ugh, tired of knitting on it and I want to make something else. I might cast on a pair of socks. Um, we are going away for the weekend for my birthday. I don't know where we're going, but I might want to just bring a sock to knit on in my spare time, which hopefully I have a lot of because I love spare time. It's the fourth thing I love. Spare time. Time to knit. So hopefully I have a lot of that on my birthday. Clue four. Okay, so my colors are Scorched Lime, Black, and Hot Pink. Pop Rocks by Madeline Tosh. But not this specific skein. Okay, all right. Those are my colors, for better or for worse. Clue one. Clue two. Clue three. Wait, that's clue two. This is clue three. And now we're on to clue four. Wow, what a ride, right? This is what my clue four looks like. And you can tell on camera very easily that I have messed this up. And I don't care. I'm going to leave it. I don't care. I think Steven would approve of leaving it. I'm going to make it work. It's going to be fine. And when it's wrapped around my neck, no one will ever know. And if they do, I'll never speak to him again. Blocked. So you can see that I only did one here. And I only did one here. Like, I should have done two rows and I didn't. Um, I don't care. I think that it, you know, makes it a little unique. I'm not sure that I'm going to have enough, like, I don't know. I might have, I feel like I might have to, like, rip this back to, like, right here. But if I have to rip it back, I don't care. I don't care. I'll rip it back. Um, I got really disappointed when I saw that he put the picture in the pattern like that was just such a bummer such a bummer and it doesn't make sense to me because he spends so much time on his videos making the videos so you can click directly to what you want to see and anybody who wanted to could click up from that pattern to the video and see everything but instead he chose to put a, a photo in the pattern and that was really a bummer so i don't have my border on yet but i know what it's gonna look like at least there's no tassels um, I'm pretty excited about it. I do feel like I'm running out of yarn. People keep saying they have a lot of yarn left, and I just don't. I don't have all of this, but I only have like this much yarn left. So I might have to sub in a color opportunity on the other side. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is so boring to knit. It's fine. It's fine. But I'm kind of... I don't know, you guys. What do you think? I know everybody's going to be like, oh, I like it. Nobody's going to be like, oh, I hate it. But, uh, like mine particularly, they're not going to be like, oh, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It's okay. It's okay. So, but I'm curious. If you started this and then you stopped because you were like, this isn't going anywhere. Great. I hate it. It's ugly. Or whatever complaint you had about it. Do you still feel that way now? Do you still feel that way now? Or did it turn out better than you thought it would? Or are you still like, yeah, I'm not making that. That's weird. It's a little weird, right? Like, I don't know. It's kind of not very cohesive. I think what ruins it for me with mine, really, is this this part. I don't like it. I don't like that particular spot. And it's very, I don't know. I don't really, what do you guys think? It'll be fine. Clue four. So that came out. I haven't worked on it yet today. I had to go to my kids' conferences. And now that I have to do laundry today. I don't feel that whole like pressure to work on it anymore. So I might take a break and oh, I already said that. That's what happens when you do multiple takes of this is that I, you forget what you said. So that's okay. I, um, I like it. Okay. I'm going to finish. I might, I might finish in September of next year, but I always finish before the next one. And I didn't watch the video, but somebody said that he talked about mention doing the next one. And so I guess there will be one next year. So I guess I got to prepare for that. Maybe I'll keep my golden yellow just in case. 
because I really love that. No, I'm going to use it on my Baca palette. I want the Stephen Lewis Mystery Knit Alongs, but like in every color, um, at least a little bit in every color. So this was my green. And so I need a Rockefeller, but in yellow. So, or yeah, I need a Rockefeller with yellow in it. So you guys are saying gray and black. I don't know, it's kind of peachy. Maybe it'd probably look better with a tan, but then I wouldn't wear it for sure. It's kind of a warm golden peach yellow, if that makes any sense at all. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't got that far because I think my next thing is going to be an exploration station. Um, I really want to cast on a sweater, but I have no business doing that when I have several sweaters on the needles that just need sleeves. So that seems kind of um, not a good knitter thing to do. But you know what, though? If you don't put sleeves on your sweaters, you can just throw a cardigan over them and no one will ever know. So there you go. There's a hot tip. All right. Well, I'm going to go. I'm really excited about my birthday. Feel free to say happy birthday Eve in the comment section. That's so cheesy. You don't have to do that. And I will, <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. It's my birthday, so it'll be great. It'll be great. I'll just be the same, except I'll just be excited it's my birthday. Right. All right. Um. So have a good one, and I will see you guys tomorrow.